Hey everybody, it's Jamie, if I'm no getting off this train. It has been a crazy week. I'm glad it's all over, and now we've got even more to look forward to this week. Okay, so the past week or so has been absolutely nuts. I didn't post anything last week, and part of that was because I my phone died. So the phone that I typically use to record all my videos and one I use on a regular basis, the screen decided to just, like, die on me. So it was like flashy lights and technically it worked, but I couldn't see what I was doing. So I had to use an old cheap phone um, just for a few days until I got my new one. And my new one came in after I got last week's groceries. So I wasn't able to record it, the video and the picture quality was horrible. So sorry about that. I've got my new phone now and this is going to be the first video that's coming out with my new phone. So I don't know if the graphics will look any better or anything. So we'll have to see. And we went to Cedar Point last week as well on Thursday and Friday. Allison goes back to school this week. So we wanted at least one more chance to get back to our amusement parks before she goes back to school. This week's grocery haul is kind of a mixture of a couple of weeks here. I know a couple weeks ago I said I was going to go to Sam's Club and do my monthly shopping. Well, I did and I also got a lot of extra stuff that I was able to use the extra money in my grocery budget for. So I've got that in here as well as a previous Mr. Max grocery outlet haul and then the Walmart haul from this weekend. So it's just a whole bunch of things put together, but at least you'll get to see how my pantry and my, my whole house is stocked now. All right, so let's get into it. I'll show you what I bought. I had a fairly bigger haul from Sam's Club today. Got some of our just monthly things, uh, things to stock up on, as well as just a couple of other things that we wanted. So first off, we got some laundry detergent. Um, we typically just buy it from Sam's. I buy it maybe once every six months or so. And some vitamins for Allison. Got some Finish Jet Dry for the dishwasher. And Allison wanted some yogurt. So I got the big box of Chobani yogurt. So it has strawberry, blueberry, peach and black cherry. I also bought some Frigo string cheese. It's a little bit cheaper per ounce here than it is at Walmart. Back here, we got some Mott's fruit snacks. Yes, there are 90 packages in there, but Allison and I like them. We eat them quite a bit when I buy them. And we got some baking soda. I put this in our laundry. Then a container of cashews. We like to snack on those throughout the week. And then I got two salad kits just to try them out and see like how big they were. So this one is the Members Mark Southwest Chopped Salad. And this one right here is the Taylor Farms Buffalo Ranch Chopped Salad. And then back here, got a bag of the Lifesavers mints. We buy these every like three or four months or so. We like to have them at least once a day and some maple syrup. We go through that a lot as well. And then lastly, some bagged snacks for all of us, really. This is the classic mix. So there's like Fritos, Lay's, Ruffles, and then Doritos, Cheetos. As you can tell, Allison loves them. I needed to make a stock up run at Mr. Max grocery outlet. We were just about out of snack bars and then I bought a few things just to stock up the freezer. So we'll start over here first. Um, I like to buy candy here. They actually sell like bulk bags of candy, like a quart size bag for $3. They have bulk bins where you can just kind of fill up whatever you want. So, you know, we have like one or two pieces every now and then. So it's a fairly cheap way to do it. Allison wanted some ice cream and she saw these and thought it looked good. These are the Halo Top Sea Salt Caramel, like the ice cream pops. So just got that for her. She also saw this Lunchables. This is the ham and cheese and crackers. Mainly she wanted it because it showed Zelda Breath of, or Tears of the Kingdom on here. So I'm like, all right, that's fine. And let's see back here. I got some Nature Valley granola. It's the protein with the oats and dark chocolate. This one is really, really good. I bought it um, a couple weeks ago and it's almost gone. And then we got a lot of snack bars. So a box of the Nature Valley granola cups for Allison. This is the peanut butter chocolate. She also wanted some Cliff Z bars. So the iced oatmeal cookie. 
and a box of the chocolate chip cookie dough Lara bars. And then finally for the snack bars, I bought another huge box of the Nature Valley peanut butter dark chocolate protein bars. This is a box of, I believe that's eight in there. So it's only like five, five something for this. Somebody left a comment and he's like, why do you guys need so many snack bars? It's like, well, I'd rather eat snack bars that have, you know, more filling ingredients than eat just like a bag of chips for a snack. I think that is a little bit better in the long run, you know, whatever. So anyway, other things to stock up the freezer. This is the Teton Waters Ranch, um, grass-fed beef, basically like sausages. This is smoked sausage with mozzarella. I had this brand probably a few years ago. It was really good, and I'm pretty sure that $3 is a great price for that. And I bought a container of the Jenny O Season turkey patties. So we'll make some turkey burgers sometime eventually. And the last thing I got from Mr. Max were two bags of these turkey sausage links. They sometimes run out of these and we, we eat a lot of these every week. So whenever I see them there, I try to stock up as much as I can. Got my Walmart haul from this weekend. I didn't need a whole lot. I'm probably still pretty under budget. So coming over on this side, I got a two pound package of strawberries because Allison's been eating a ton of them recently, which is great. Uh, more bananas just for our breakfast and snacks here and a box of stevia packets just for my coffee and one dozen eggs just to go in a couple of different things. Back here is a big bag of Caesar salad kit to use just as a side item. And back here, I bought some of these little cheddar rice crisps, something that maybe I can put in Allison's lunch boxes because she starts school this week. Okay, so I got some cheese here. Um, one bag of the sharp cheddar, and I didn't realize this was the really big bag because I went later and added some other cheese. Um, and I actually, where, where'd it go? Oh, it's over here. <laughs> I got a, another bag of the shredded mild cheddar. So I really only needed this one because it was the bigger one, but I got two of these. It's fine. And then a bag of just cubed Colby and Monterey Jack cheese to use for snacks and a box of Jiffy corn muffin mix to go as a side with a dinner and another bag of the Gala apples three pound bag. Here is a bag of shredded lettuce to go in some burrito bowls. Um, down here just two packages of floss. We sometimes take this out of the grocery budget too. And I'm making a bacon ranch tater tot casserole for a brunch. So to go with that is a package of ranch seasoning and a can of cream of chicken soup, a container of sour cream, and then a package of bacon bits. That's all going in there. Allison's been fond of the baby goldfish. So I got one package of that for her. And back here is some veggie straws for us. Uh, some cottage cheese for me. And then back here, just some French vanilla coffee creamer. And two containers of these vanilla Greek yogurt cups. And then I got a container of uh, shaved Parmesan. Went to Cedar Point over the weekend and some of the salads we got had shaved Parmesan and Allison loved it. So I got that to put with a dinner. And over here, just a loaf of wheat bread. This was a substitution actually because I wanted the great value brand, no big deal. And lastly, for the frozen items, I got a bag of broccoli stir fry veggies. Down here is a big bag of blueberries to go into breakfast. And then lastly are the tater tots to go in that casserole. So the total of what you saw here was $155.04. Now, some of that Sam's Club money was from another part of the budget. I think only 40 something was part of the groceries. It's been a pretty low energy couple of weeks as far as meal planning goes. I'm working on a project right now with a group of people and I should have the final product ready within the next two months or so. So keep an eye out if you need a resource for whether you have ADHD or you're just 
overwhelmed with meal planning, I've got something in store for you. So the meals this week are just gonna be really, really simple. First off, I have a package of soup mix that I bought at the grocery outlet a little while ago. I think it was like a, a cheeseburger soup or something like that. I believe I have some ground turkey in the freezer. So I'm gonna pull that out and then use that with the soup. I'm also making burrito bowls and I typically have all of the base ingredients for that always in the pantry. So rice and beans. And then I'll usually always have like sour cream and cheese, salsa, jalapenos, and whatever else I have in the house that seems like it, go, it could go into a bowl. I'll add that to it as well. I know I'm making some kind of a pasta dish. I do have spaghetti sauce. I have plenty of types of pasta. I'll use that shaved Parmesan. I know I have some uh, garlic bread in the freezer, so I can pull that out too. And that Caesar salad is gonna go with this pasta dish. Also on the menu is curry. So I still have coconut milk and I have curry powder and curry paste. I'm using those stir fry veggies. And then I also got a package of chicken from Flash Food last week for really cheap. It was like $1.59 a pound for boneless chicken breast, which is an amazing deal. <laughs> Whenever I see it that cheap, I try to buy as much as I can. And lastly, we're just having sandwiches for dinner as well. I bought the bread. We still have some deli meat left over from last week. We'll just throw something together. For breakfast this week, I am making blueberry oat cups. I've just keep been keeping it really, really simple. Things that I know we like, things that are easy for me to make, and then hoping that eventually I'll get more energy to start making a little more complicated recipes. And now that Allison is going back to school, I will have some more time in my day so I can easily like set aside a block of time to do all of that work, do all the cooking, the recording and things, and have some good stuff for you guys. But that is all I have for you this week. Uh, leave me a comment and tell me what is one thing you are looking for Forward to on your meal plan. As always, make sure you subscribe, like this video, ring that bell so you'll be notified when all my other videos come out. Thank you all so much for watching. I will see you later.